previously on Let's Play Uncharted, Drake's Fortune. So we spent about 50 hours looking at a loading screen, and then we did a Drake cake, and then some guy acquired a hat out of nowhere, and then we left Elena behind, and then we got into the jungle, and then we just fucking died. You gonna get down here, old man? Good. I actually think that Uncharted 3 is my favorite, because of how... Ah, then Uncharted 2 is so amazing. I don't know. I can't really t tell you my favorite. Because I think it's a tie between 2 and 3. Because they're both very, very good. The first one, this Uncharted 1, is very good. I will admit, it's a very good game. It does get kind of the same, like, kind of repetitive over time. But, you know, the, the puzzles do make it different. But then Uncharted 2 and 3 are just so dynamic. They just change so much throughout the entire game. It's like, oh, here's a puzzle. Now here's some platforming. Now here's some shooting. Now here's some, you know, like, it's just, it always changes. It's never like, it's never like puzzle, platform, puzzle, platform, shooting, puzzle, platform, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, now I forget how to get over here. I think I gotta climb up here. Yeah. Yeah, yes, I remember. Uh, but puzzles are not my strong suit, which is why the later games don't involve too many puzzles, which is good. Wait, I recognize Um, yeah, I gotta look in Drake's journal. I'll figure it out. The so, of these signs has some importance. all right, one. Uh, so we're gonna do cog, cog king, spider, angry face. So cog is uh, over there. Cog. I think you can jump it from here. Can you do that? Yeah. Cog. That's number one. All right. Right, cog. And then king. Cog king. I believe the king is like the one up next to this one. Yeah, because that's a spider. Cog. I got king over here. I just don't like puzzles because, like, um, they're a bit, like, monotonous, you know? And I don't really like using my brain. <laughs> I'm a bit lazy, I know. But, you know, it's just. When I play a game like this, I just want to, you know, just play the adventure, really. And I know it's like Indiana Jones sort of style, which I've never actually seen, by the way. I'll have to try and watch some of those. Spider, an angry face. And um, it's a lot like Lara Croft as well, you know, uh, Tomb Raider. Like I keep mentioning over and over again, because I'm freaking repeating myself a million times over like a dingling. But you know, it's okay. And here we go, the last one. And no doubt there's going to be a cutscene or something like that. And as you can see on the back, it says NDI, which I believe is Nathan Drake Industries. But I swear I've seen that before. I swear I've seen NDI somewhere before. I, I, I don't know where though. Put like a naughty dog in their secrets. They always have little Easter eggs somewhere. Like that Otzel thing I was talking about earlier. Pretty deep. That's what she said. Yeah, looks like there's a ladder cut into the side. Wait here while I check it out. Alright, well, I have messed this up before, Be like, a million times before, because, like, he didn't grab the thing. Like, oof, like that. He'd do that and then fall, just randomly. So hey, gay. <laughs> hurry up, hurry up. There we go. If you don't hurry up, those will fall. And you will die. And it's quite good. It's quite good. Now I've got to push this. Um, you know, just the exact same. you got to push it, like... That little cart you did earlier. And then, it's like skulls on those things. That's really, like, okay. sadistic. And I don't understand how that water level rises so high, like, so fast. But then again, the water's still pouring. And it, like, you know, it's so strange. Whatever. You know, I know it's a game, but still. <laughs> I thought I died there, but I guess not. So... This actually, I think there's a glitch you can do. Yeah, this happens in every single Uncharted game. Fishman. You do the Fishman glitch. That is so funny. Uh, it's kind of pointless to do, but you just do the Fishman glitch and, you know, you can just travel. I love the Fishman glitch. Works in every Uncharted game. So if you have Uncharted 2, 3, or 1, and you haven't done this before, go back and play it and do the Fishman glitch. Aw, oh, yeah. I'm really wet. That's what she said. God damn it. Nathan Drake. All these innuendos. 
I like it. Anyway, we've got to keep doing this climbing malarkey. And we're going to go over to here. And then we've got to shoot these things to... What the fuck? What? Why, why is the camera pointing me that way? Oh, I thought I'd missed it then. But yeah, I have... Uh, yeah, shut up. Whoa, like, magnetic. Some of the jumps in this game are quite magnetic. You do get pulled to some certain areas. Like I said, it's very monotonous. It's all like the same thing at the beginning. But then again, if you never play this game, it's all very different. And I just enjoyed the colour in this game. Because a lot of games, there actually is a, a bit of a dig at the uh, Gears of War uh, game. In this, it is a, is a little reminiscent thing to Crash Bandicoot here. Uh, I'll tell you about Well, you'll see it in a minute. But there's a filter in this game called Next Gen Filter because, you know, uh, Gears of War is meant to be next generation and the the filter just makes everything brown and that's, uh, it's quite funny. This looks safe. Because apparently Gears of War is meant to be next generation and the colours are so dull. Alright, here's the Crash Bandicoot style thing. If you remember this, anyone remember this style of thing from Crash Bandicoot? Yeah, you should do. Woohoo! And I fucking die. Sweet. I don't know how. I guess he didn't latch on. But okay, we'll try that again. Let's hope I don't die this time. Go. Run. Crash Bandicoot style. I wish there'd have been like a, a T Rex chasing us, you know? Like in uh, Crash Bandicoot 3. That wasn't a T Rex though, that was a. Uh, I don't know what that was. I forget which dinosaur. There we go. I made it. Woohoo. Now Sully can like jump over there. Woohoo. But yeah, the voice acting in this game, it can get sketchy in areas, but I really enjoy it, you know. I really do enjoy the voice acting in this game. The acting in general in this game and like everything, even to the even to the crease on his shirt when he walks, he's a crease on his shirt, the detail is so awesome. The temple must have been built around this. Around what? A statue. A gold statue. A huge gold statue. And look here. These people, they're worshipping the damn thing. At least, I think they're people. Of course. El Dorado. The Golden Man. Sully, it wasn't a city of gold. It was this. It was a golden idol. Man, can you imagine what that thing would be worth now? Look over here. Tracks. I bet the Spanish dragged it out on cut logs. <laughs> We're 400 years late for this party. So the trail's cold. Yeah, it looks that way. Son of a bitch. Unless... Unless what? We follow the tracks. Alright, so there's little etchings in the ground, and we follow him. And there are people to fight this time, so that's kind of cool. You get to fight him eventually. And you just gotta follow these little... Oh, the light went off. And, oh, we get to meet someone cool here. Oh, I'm like way in front of him, so the like, audio is a bit off. Spaniards must have made themselves a shortcut to get the treasure out. Yep. There's gonna be some uh, dudes later on get to avoid them. You can't really fight them. Well, you can if you wanted to. You could shoot a few of them, but you hear that? it's just pointless. Uh, here's something cool, though. Well, there's something you don't see every day. It's a boat! God. It's a Nazi boat. Aw, oh, yeah. Yeah, you get to go inside it as well, so that's always cool. And uh, we get to see a, a gold doubloon. Let's go find a gold doubloon. I'll shush, though. More cutscene, of course, you know. You gotta love the cutscenes. Damned. Must have come up the river during flood season and gotten stuck. Let's check it out, huh? Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Something about this feels kind of hinky. Hinky? You act like you've never seen a German U-boat in the middle of the jungle before. No, uh, I'm being serious, Nate. <laughs> I tell you what, why don't you stay here? I'll check it out myself. I'll call you if I run into any Nazis. Yeah, right. You do that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on to this for me, will ya? Okay. 
Looks like I'm gonna have to do this the hard way. Hell yeah. I think there is a treasure. Chapter 3. A surprising find. Fishman. Ho! Well, you gotta like go to the back of the boat, I believe, and then... Actually, I don't re remember. I think you gotta go around the back of the boat and climb the thing. Yeah. I was right. I remember. Yeah, see, I'm not as stupid as, as you think I am. Looks like you're gonna have to monkey across those cliffs to get into the... How does he know? How can he see over here? Oh yeah, this is like where the, the vines come in handy. Oh yeah, Tarzan, baby! I'm never really good at this stuff. I never was, but you know, I think that's as high as you can go. There we go. There's like two treasures here that I can remember. There's like one you gotta like drop down and get to, which I'm not gonna do because that wastes time. Hey -ya. And there's one at the edge of the boat, which I'm gonna do because it looks, it's a very awesome cinematic view. And for your viewing pleasure, I will do so. I did a uh, Let's Play of this a long time ago, and it got really popular. So, I'm not doing it again just for that, I'm doing it again because if you go around this way you get treasure. Uh, but if you go this way, you get to the mission. I know, that's why I'm watching myself. Uh, but yeah, people requested it. I did a live show and said which one, which uh, Let's Play shall I do next, and people said Uncharted, so here it is. And I think you can jump this thing. Yeah, good. Because you don't have to like get down and shimmy, you can just jump it. But like I said, some of the jumps are kind of magnetic, where you get stuck to like certain parts of the game. It's sort, of, it's sort of scripted, but then again, sort of not. Like that, you, you get mag magnetized to this rock here, and you know, blah, blah, blah. No complaints there, I've just... Ooh, no, I've not. I thought I'd fell there. The only time magnetization didn't work. <laughs> oh, dear. Yep. I got it, Sully. Right, now. The reason he's telling me all this, like, stupid shit like that is because, uh... Did you see that black square just come up on the screen? Just me. Yeah, if you get to the end, look at this. Look at this cinematic view. Look how beautiful this is. This is how games should be. You know, colourful, vibrant, and you know, just overall beautiful to look at. Gold and turquoise Inca earring. Hmm, that's pretty cool. Wow, that's not really a ring, is it? Wow, that must be like a friggin'. That must be painful. First treasure. I mean, look at this. Look at that. That's just. That's just gorgeous. Especially with the, the sunset if you do like you can do like a sort of cinematic view. Hell yeah. Anyway. Are you having a good stretch? Good, because you're gonna need it, because we're gonna go inside the boat now. Uh he runs kinda slow. Which is well, I say he runs, he's more like jogs. It's not really a jog either, it's more like a what, what's like a uh, Yeah? When was your last Ah, funny. Um it's like a jot. Is it called a jot? Where they sort of just sort of bounce up and down, run a little bit. You don't really go too fast. Okay. I guess that's what you call it. I'm not sure. Something nasty happened to these guys. There's blood everywhere. And soup. What? I got to turn this. All right. Yeah. And then you got to do the the swirly thing. Yeah. I remember this. Like back in the day, like when I first played this. I, everything that happened in this game I thought was so amazing because like that's this is when like 
This is like one of the first games I got for the PS3, and it really does show off the power of it. Well, the early power. It showed off the early power of it, but the new power of it, holy shit. Anyway, I'll shush. More cutscene here. This, my decomposing friend. I think the trail just got warm again. How so? Well, I just met a guy with pockets full of Spanish gold. Only the coins are stamped with a mint mark I've never seen before. You're kidding me. Looks like our German friends had a little secret. Right, well, now we're getting further into the, the, the ship. I keep thinking it's a submarine because, you know, it's in the water and, like, you know, it's sunken a bit. But it's not. It's a goddamn ship. There's a part later on. I keep, like, thinking that I'm way further into the game than I am because this this doesn't feel like the starting mission, does it? It kind of feels like an ending mission. Um, But it is. It's a starting mission. Oh, the fish man. Woohoo. Uh, yeah, I think we have to climb up here. Yep. And there we go. Uh, oh, look at these firefly Who's things. He? These firefly things are beautiful. Beautiful. Now I move further into the ship. And we get to the, the, is it the captain's quarters? I'm not sure, but I'll shush anyway. Because there's more cutscenes here than Metal Gear Solid. In the captain's quarters. Get this, he's still here. What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, it looks like he was killed. Ripped to shreds, actually. Oof, what a way to go. Yeah, sounds terrible. Take his wallet. You're all hearts, Sully. Gotcha. Are you all right? <laughs> Sully, you're not going to believe this. Try me. I think I found our missing page. You're kidding. It looks like Drake and our German pals were after the same treasure. And I've got the map that's going to lead us right to it. Nate, this better not be another wild goose chase. We've got to get something out of this trip or... Or what? Sully? You there? Sullivan! Ooh. Actually, can you go back in there? I want to find out if there's anything in here. I've never actually explored. Uh, uh, explored. I've never actually explored this area before. You know, just see if anything in it. Like, if you can. You can't really look at the dead guy. I want to, like, look at him. You know, see if there's a secret, maybe? I guess not. Um, it would have been really good if there was a secret if he stayed in that room for so long he moved. Or something. Just something really subtle. That would have been cool. Oops. Uh oh. Oh no. That's probably bad. Probably, yes. Better get out of here, baby. Love how he goes out like the torpedo shoot. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh, more cutscene. Jesus Christ. I'll shoot again then. Hello. Hey, hey. Friends of yours, Sully? I'm Gabriel Roman. Yeah, I know who you are, asshole. Manners, young man. This is just business. Get over there. Easy. Put your hands up. Hey, they're up. 
You see, your friend owes me money, Mr. Drake. A lot of money. So when he told me that you two were onto something big, the find of a lifetime, he said, well, I was intrigued. But he's made grand promises before, haven't you, Victor? And here we are again. Another fool's errand. Jeez, does he always go on like this? <clears throat> Take it easy, Navarro. <laughs> so, I'm afraid the time is up. Unless, of course, you found something in there, Mr. Drake, that might compensate for all this unpleasantness. He's screwing with the innate. They heard everything. Just give him the map. Slowly. What does a Krieg's marine map have to do with El Dorado? What, you think this is a coincidence? The Germans were after the same treasure. That map has something to do with it. So, we square? For now. But just in case you need a reminder... Hey, come Ooh. on, leave him out of it. Yeah, don't you guys usually just cut off a finger or something? <laughs> That's far too vulgar. No, I think this will hurt him a bit more. Now, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, Roman. He's got nothing to do with... Sully! Sully!